Today we are going to be doing the Graco Click Connect Snug Ride 30. This seat is discontinued by Graco, so I'm not doing a review on it. However, it is still available um, with a travel system, so there obviously are still new ones being sold. Um, they're just probably going to be like six months to a year um, old already when you get it. They are good for seven years. Um, and they rear face only to four to 30 pounds or 30 inches or less than one inch above the head. Um, but yeah, so you can't buy, um, I mean, you can still buy it, but when supplies runs out, supplies runs out, they're not making new ones of these right now. So this is what the base looks like. Um, there is no recline foot, which most great ghost snug rides have now that are on the market. Um, so you're gonna have to take a tightly rolled towel. Um, I'm just using a hand towel because my car seat is very flat. Um, if your car seat's more sloped, you might need a bath towel to do the same thing. But on the side of your um, carrier, there's a level line and that has to be leveled to the ground. Okay, so with my car seat, um, with my car seat uh, on my seat, it is not level to the ground. I'm just trying to make this a little narrower so I can still reach my latch system. All right. So, first we're going to roll up our towel. Um, a bath towel will do, a kitchen towel, whatever. Uh, it helps you achieve the level you need. So, I'm going to put it right here, and I'm going to put the car seat on it. Okay? And that makes this actually level to the ground. Again, my seats are really flat, so I'm not needing, like, a super bulky towel or anything. Um, you can also use a pool noodle if needed. And then, we have our lower anchors. They're the little claw clips. We're just going to reach through. Um, and claw clip it on here. And this is how you loosen and tighten it right here. Same thing on this side. Just going to come through. And then we're going to tighten it. There we go. Alright. Oops, needs more tightening. There we go. Alright, so we're going to test it more time all right so we're gonna test it side to side moves less than one inch that is how you install it with um the lower anchors now i'm gonna loosen it and get my lower anchors off all right one sec there we go all right now i'm gonna store my lower anchors um you're not gonna cut this strap or anything you just keep your lower anchors here you can keep your manual there um there's little tabs on the bottom for it all right also your expiration date or i mean your manufacturer date for your base is right here your car seat will also have one so to do the seat belt install i'm still going to use my towel to make sure that it's level to the ground and i'm going to thread my seat belt up through this hole across here and through that hole and it's going to sit kind of on the shelf right here so we're going to do that and down and buckle. All right. And I'm going to get it up on the shelf where it needs to go and I'm going to tighten it. All right. So, all right. Then I'm going to lock it. So pull it out, slowly let it in. Some cars lock down here at the latch plate. Just know how your car locks. Every car made in the United States after 1996 has locking seatbelts. It's the law. Um, so there's going to be a way to lock it somewhere. It might be a lap belt with a tightener in the middle. And um, older cars, uh, either way, there's going to be a way to lock your seatbelt. You have to be able to lock your seatbelt to install the space. All right. So now that that's inside the side, front to back, we're going to test it out. It is installed. We would take our carrier. I have right here and click it in okay test it it clicked we're good baby's in there ready to go or you can just put baby in and tighten everything up we're good all right now I'm going to take this out and I'm going to unbuckle the base and remove my towel and my carrier okay so this is the carrier for this one you are um here's your expiration date too since I'm not doing a review on this since you're not, uh, since you're installing this with a seatbelt, um, if you're doing it this way, 
you are going to, and your handle queen any lock position, you are going to want baby to be buckled in already. Okay, obviously I don't have a baby to buckle in, so the seat is empty. But on the side right here, we have our level line. Okay, you're just going to make it level to the ground, just like that. You don't need a towel or anything really when you're doing the base, just because it's a rounded bottom, it pretty much helps you even it out. All right, then you're going to do this. and tighten and then lock. So what you want to be tight is the lap belt right here across the baby. That is the important thing to be tight. So we're gonna again test it side to side. Oh, that's moving too much. So again, I'm going to tighten my lap belt and I'm going to pull up more and get one more click up in there. Okay, make sure it's still level, side to side, front to back. We're good, handle can be in any locked position in any installation again baby would be in this already before you install the baseless okay this one only allows for american belt routing not european which some other great ghost snug ride uh snug rides do this one does not so that is the great ghost snug ride click connect 30 snug ride 30 click connect there's a lot of words um i'm sarah i'm a cpst i install car seats and review them to help make your search easier um, the seat is still available new from a couple of retailers, um, both as the seat and as a travel system. But again, it's been discontinued by Graco. So when supplies runs out, um, you're not going to be able to find the seat again. So that's why I'm not doing a review on it, just because you can't really find it um, new right now. But this, this install video is for families who own it already, maybe have questions. Um, if you did buy one of those travel systems and came with this seat, um, this install video is for you. You had one for an older child. You had some questions. Here you go. Um, again, they, ins they inspire in seven years. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more content and have a great day.